you ever wondered why in, let's say, my room, I have two electrical bulbs here? When one gets burnt, it doesn't affect the other. Have you also wondered you have several rooms in your house and the brightness of each bulb is the same across everywhere in the house? Have you wondered why? Have you wondered how the electrician does his job? I'm sure you think it's magic, right? But it's not, okay? He uses a simple um, principle from a topic in physics and we can see this under electrical circuits. And in this um, video, I'm going to be explaining the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit. And I'm sure before we end this video, you would let me know, you are going to know the connection, okay, in your house. That's the electrical wiring, the connection of all your sockets and bulb. Which one is used from series, is either series or parallel, you are going to know. All right, so I've designed, I've constructed my circuit here. You can also do this um, using the FET simulation. You can go to FET.colorado.edu. It's completely free and you can just play around with it. Search for circuit construction kit and it's all a drag and drop, you know, drag and drop and, you know, you can construct your own circuit. Okay, that's what I did here. Okay, so now we have two circuits here. Now, which is series? This is a series circuit. I'm going to tell you why. Now, and this is a parallel circuit. Okay. Now, look at this series circuit. The, the, the bulbs here. Okay. The bulbs also is called a resistor. It's also a resistance. Okay. So, the bulbs here are connected end to end. Can you see this from one end to another end to another end? That's why it is what series on one line. Can you see that on one line series? Okay. Now look at parallel. They are parallel. It's side to side. So this side joined to this side of this bulb. So you can see it's side to side. So this is parallel. That's why it's called parallel connection. Now let us now go to the technical details of each of this. Okay. I put on my switch here. Okay, I put on the switch, that's this particular circuit. Now, you can see that there's a, this blue, can you see there's a slow movement of this blue dot. Now, these blue dots are electrons, okay? And it shows the flow of what current. What is current? Current is what? The flow of electrons in a closed what? Circuit. That is what current, all right? And this current is being powered by a battery here, which has volts, uh, voltage in it. And what is voltage? Voltage is that driving force that pushes current, okay, to pass through the circuit, okay? And as the voltage passes through each particular resistance or bulb, you have a voltage drop, okay? There's a voltage difference across, across each load. Okay, each bulb, there's a voltage what difference, okay? Now, in this circuit, as this flows, you can see that we have one way for the current to flow. So, we have I. I is just one way, okay? One way it's flowing, all right? Now, when it gets here, you can see the brightness of the bulb is different, okay? So, it means here the voltage difference across this load is different from the voltage difference across this. It's also different from the voltage difference across this, okay? So we have here V1, we have here V2, okay? And we have here V3, all right? And let us quickly check. You can see here, I have used, we're gonna use a voltmeter to check this, okay? You can see here, the voltage across this 10 ohms um, um, uh, resistance here is what? Two volts. Now let us quickly check this, the voltage across this is three the voltage across this 20 ohms resistor is what four volts okay so in a series circuit you have one part of current and the voltage difference across the resistors are different okay they are different all right now let's come to a parallel circuit and quickly check in a parallel circuit let us close let's close this can you see this? The flow of electron. Can you see? It's the same here. Okay, the flow, the current flow. But when we get here, what happens to current? Currents divide into three. Current divides. So you have I1 here, you have I2 here, you have I3 here. Okay, you can see I still use the same resistance here on each of the bulbs. All right, to show you that 
what happens between the difference between the series and parallel circuits. All right. So the current is different. But what about the voltage? The voltage is the same. The voltage across each road, uh, each load, okay, or resistance in a parallel circuit is the same. Now we can use our voltmeter here. Let's check this. So you can see here, the volt here is nine. It's used the same volt from the battery itself. That's the source. Okay. Come here. It's also nine. Let's put our probe here on the last bulb up here. It's also nine. Do you see that? The voltage difference across each of the bulb is the same in a parallel circuit. So I'm sure. Can you now let, tell me which of this connection is used in your houses? Do you guess now? I'm sure you are correct. It's the parallel circuit connection that is used to wire your whole entire house. All right. So that's why the brightness of each bulb in your house is bright. And when you disconnect one bulb, one bulb gets burnt. It doesn't affect another. So this is the difference between a series and parallel circuit.